Henderson woman will be in court to answer to felony hit and run charges for an accident that killed a man early Sunday morning. As Dana Gentry reports, the case is the latest example of what some say is the need for stiffer penalties for hit and run, which experts say is often a legal tactic for drunk drivers. It happened early Sunday morning at the intersection of Sahara and Mojave. Police say 24-year-old Samantha McLeod of Henderson was driving east on Sahara when she hit a man, then never stopped to offer help. Two hours later, an attorney contacted Metro, arranging for McLeod to turn herself in. She was booked into the Clark County Detention Center on charges of felony hit and run. It's an all too familiar scenario to Aaron Breen of Safe Communities, who says there's a gap in the law. Senator Menendez wants to equalize those two so that if you leave the scene of a crash, it's causing death or substantial bodily harm, that it's automatically raised to the level of a DUI, which is a felony. A bill draft request from Senator Mark Menendo could stiffen the penalties for drivers who leave the scene of an accident, often a common legal tactic for drunk drivers hoping to stall a test. There's no indication McLeod was drinking. They don't have insurance. They're driving on a suspended license. They don't have papers to be legally in the United States. Those are all the reasons that you see. but. Primarily speaking, the number one reason is that the driver's impaired. Metro police say the victim of this hit and run was not in the crosswalk when he was hit. He died here at the scene. Metro says this is the fourth traffic-related fatality so far this year. Dana Gentry, News 3.